biotech degrees are they really worth in 2024 and beyond let's find out truth be told if you are pursuing a biotech degree or a life science degree then this video is very important for you because if you are watching till the end you'll gain a lot of insights about what needs to be done today so we are not just going to evaluate and say that okay there is a problem i'm going to give you solutions because i believe that at biotechnica solutions matter more than just highlighting the problem so i'm not here to talk about okay what the life science degrees are and what are they worth i'm also going to tell you the solutions of this problem the first part of the story begins somewhere around early 2000 when there was a boom of colleges like every rich person was opening a college in our country and of course, government was giving licenses to anybody to start a university. But there was a problem. The problem was, there was only one or two biotech company in our country. Probably, uh, if I could count, maximum 30 startups in our country that time. But there were more than 300 colleges giving biotech degrees. Now, fast forward today, we have 10,000 biotech startups in our country. So, from 30 in 2000, in the year of 2000, it is 10,000 biotech companies. So definitely the boom has happened. But the life science degrees have not changed. Major universities never ever looked at their curriculum. So the truth is, the curriculum which is there today are not aligned to the industry requirements. So let's give you an example. So this morning I met a person, uh, he has done some work on artificial intelligence, uh, radio imaging and breast cancer, right? So what do you need to understand these three things? You need that good, good understanding of cancer, biology, right? Of course. Then you need a good understanding of uh, artificial intelligence, of course, developing algorithm. And then of course you need uh, understanding of uh, radio imaging, right? Actually, if we look at our university is producing three different individuals, Three different professionals, not this, this skill is not in one person, right? But the industry requires all of this in one person, right? They don't want to employ three people for one job. They want one person to do it. So clearly the life science degrees are not worth in 2024 if you are just banking on degrees. Let me now come to, come to you about industries, right? So like I said, 30 startups. Okay, probably Dr. Reddy's, Biocon, Sinjin, all only these people were there. To 10,000 startups. It's a huge boom. But still, why? Why still people are unemployed? Why they're not getting jobs? Because the industry requires people who can make them money. Correct? If you cannot help the industry make money, well, they won't be talking to you because they need profits. Biotech companies have a purpose and have they need to show profits. Profit is not the only purpose, but they also have to earn profits for their shareholders, right? For the people, for their employees. So, in 2024, the value of life science degree remains the same, but the demand for latest is there from the industry, which the life science colleges or curriculum or universities are not able to fulfill, right? What is the current and future trends? Let's look at that. So, Life science, actually, it is like a bouquet. It encompasses a wide range of disciplines, which includes biology, biotechnology, environmental science, healthcare, and whatnot. And advances are happening in all of these fields and discoveries, innovations are coming every day, right? Now, gene editing, personalized medicine, sustainable agricultural practices, disease biology, entomology, every area, science is progressing. Now, these areas are continuously evolving, but at the same time, professionals who are coming out, they don't know. They don't have any idea about all of this. So what if by developing a better curriculum, can these universities solve this problem? Yes, you heard me right. There are many universities who are designing curriculum, which is outcome based. They're consulting with these startups and then understanding the requirement accordingly, they're designing. So if that is happening in your university, then you are safe. Otherwise, there is a problem. The career opportunities which exist in our country today is multidimensional and diverse. So you may be required to have a knowledge of digital marketing and 3D printing at the same time. You may be demanded uh, stem cell engineering knowledge at the same time. Might need a very good understanding of how uh, molecular biology works. Right. Career prospects is bright for those who stand at the boundary of this. You have to stand at the boundary of science. You have to stand at the boundary of 
biology and chemistry. You have to have a very good understanding of chemistry to pursue biology. And then you have to have a very good understanding of computer science also. How computers operate, how can you design an algorithm to solve your problem, your biological research problem, all of that. Now, the traditional role are already occupied. That's one problem which you are and many people are missing out. If you are trying for a wet lab job, somebody has already taken it and unless he retires, that new job is not going to be created. And the new startups which are coming are not into wet lab because wet lab requires a lot of investment. So these are into bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. And that is where a combination of all of this, which is bioinformatics, AI in biology, regulatory affairs, a combination will work. You have to know that life science knowledge and technical skills is still required. But if you have these, this knowledge also, it will make you an attractive option compared to others. So you have to be willing to adapt new technology and interdisciplinary approaches. You have to make sure that you are combining two or three technologies together and achieving your results. And that is where advanced degrees comes into picture. Now, advanced degree doesn't mean PhD. Advanced degree means specialization. I have a student, she is a PhD in chemistry, but not from India. She is in um, Glasgow, but she has purchased and registered for so far, at, I think 34 certification courses of Biotechnica. And she learns and then she takes the certificate. Then uh, she writes the exam also, and then she goes for the next certificate. So next, that's how she's doing. So despite the opportunities which it is there and she's continuously learning and she's growing in her career, she has got a corporate job now, she's into a research, she has pursued her degree in chemistry and now she's learning life science. What she's doing, she's combining two sciences. The field can be highly competitive, I agree. But if you are getting into academia, then it is more competitive. Industry still is struggling for the right talent, but you need to be that right talent. You have to understand what they need and then pursue that knowledge and go in and take that job. For example, clinical data management, for example, clinical research, for example, bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, all of this. So if you are investing the wrong direction, time and money, you're going to get the wrong output, which is time and money will be wasted, right? If you are a student who wants to grow in this industry and wants a job in this industry, so I have already mentioned the fields which you should be pursuing and which you have to take forward. Now coming to the last part, is it worth spending or investing money into the life science degree? Yes, but do not just depend on college degrees. They are not just there. More than that, you need certification courses on various upcoming techniques like CRISPR, molecular biology, uh, biochemistry, latest techniques, microbiology, QA, QC, gene therapy, one of the upcoming topics, uh, bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, deep learning algorithms, how to develop these coding all of that, right? Now, with the right approach, definitely a combination of your life science degree with these certification courses or these internships which Biotechnica is providing, you can definitely create an impactful career in the life science industry. Now, coming to the last line, which is, if there are 10,000 startups, don't you think they will need four new employees next year? They will. It's just that you are lacking imagination. You have to just predict what they need next year and learn that today. You are going to be the leader of life science industry if you get started today. Remember, there was only two best times to plant a tree. One was 20 years ago and the second is today. So go ahead, enlighten your journey of learning newer things in biotechnology and Biotechnica is a great platform where you can get started. All the links are given in the description. Please check it out. And if you have any questions, comments or anything you would like to know, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much. Keep shining. Take care and bye-bye.